Welcome to Mexico Kingdom. Today we're visiting Disneyland Park. So today is a very special day at the park because the Kansas City Chiefs, including Patrick Mahomes, sorry, I meant Patrick Mahomes, will be here on parade to celebrate their Super Bowl victory last night. I'm gonna try to avoid the parade crowds as much as possible, and I'm hoping to do a lightning lane of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway first. However, if I do run into the parade for any reason, I'll be sure to take some video for you. So some bad news, unfortunately, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is temporarily closed. However, I'm gonna go to New Orleans Square instead and try to do Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion first. And now for some more bad news, Indiana Jones Adventure is closed for refurbishment. However, I'll do that next time I'm here, but it's all for the better. I mean, this ride opened back in the 90s, so they're doing some much needed upgrades. I'm excited for the new Adventureland Treehouse that's going to be opening very soon. We don't have a date, but we know it's going to be early this year. And here's some concept art. I'm excited to see how this comes out. So actually, I'm going to do the Haunted Mansion first before the line gets too crazy. I love that ride so much. Just look at my shirt and my hat. And then we've got an exciting new Haunted Mansion trivia video coming very soon. Foolish mortals were about to enter the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Too long ago, fire happened at the New Orleans Square Station to the Disneyland rail Railroad. Oh, the railroad's coming right now. Unfortunately, it's still under construction, but it still looks great. You can see the water tower. And hey, the train's coming up right now. Very soon, this is going to become Tiana's Palace. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? So I just got off the Haunted Mansion and it's actually been, it's the first time in a little while that um, I went on the regular Haunted Mansion that wasn't the holiday overlay. Well, now I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna grab something to eat. So I'm now having lunch at the Harbor Galley. This is one of my favorite places to eat in New Orleans Square and Twitter Country. It's sort of like in the middle of the two lands and connects them seamlessly. This is one of my favorite little areas at Disneyland Park here. It's nice and quiet. It's like sort of in the back of Critter Country along the rivers of America. So I'm really excited because now I joined the virtual queue for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It'll probably be a little bit. I want to say a couple hours, but maybe later in the evening, like around five. I'm so excited to do this new ride. It looks amazing. So now I'm going to go back down New Orleans Square and do Pirates of the Caribbean. So before I go on Pirates, I have to use the bathroom, so I'm going to walk right through New Orleans Square into the bathrooms there. Oh, there's the new Princess Tiana store in preparation for her new attraction either next year or the year after. Indoors Chick Boutique. Hey look, we're here in time for Mardi Gras. I'm about to ride Pirates of the Caribbean. And here's a closer look at the construction for the Adventureland Treehouse next door. Lily-livered lover! 
strike your feathers, dearie. Show them your flock. Hey, send him hands to Davy Jones. It's a So just got off Pirates of the Caribbean. That was fun. We don't know when exactly Splash Mountain will close at Disneyland, so I'm gonna do that next to say goodbye. I thought the last time I rode would be the last time, but apparently not. The ride's still open. Let's ride. Quite possibly some of our final views of Splash Mountain the way it is now before it becomes Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So one really nice thing about Splash Mountain is that they happen to have a single rider line. I hope Tiana has a single rider line too. But I'm afraid he learned it too late. So just got off Splash Mountain. I really don't know if this will be my last time riding or not. So now I'm heading into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Unfortunately, it's looking like Rise of the Resistance is closed according to the map, which makes me really sad. That's my favorite ride at the park. However, Smuggler's Run is still open, so I'll probably go ahead and do that. My favorite ride at the park. I really hope it reopens later today. I mean, obviously they, you know, that ride has a lot of technical issues, so it's understandable it'll be broken down for a bit. I just love the theming in here. It's the creature stall. I'm personally a very big fan of the Ronto Roasters. This is a good place in the park to eat. He is the beautiful hunk of junk, the Millennium Falcon. Fortunately, this ride also happens to have a single rider line, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is such an awesome queue. Really feels like you're on the Falcon. All right, you engineers, you're helping me out here. Are you working in the cockpit? I'm doing my. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly out, and push forward to fly down. Weapons are on light. Left pilot, the Now let's go get that coaxia. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. So I just got off Millennium Falcon. Rise is still closed. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wait around the entire time until it opens. I was thinking I might get a Ronto wrap, but I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can do Rise of the Resistance later today. I'd love to do it. So I really need to charge my phone, so for the time being, I'm gonna grab a Ronto wrap and chill over here while I charge my phone. Well, my plans have changed. It just so happens that Rise of the Resistance has reopened, so I'm gonna run over there and do it right now. So the standby line for Rise of the Resistance currently is 60 minutes. 
It's a pretty long wait, but it's so worth it. This is literally the best ride in the park, in my opinion. So I'm all in for that. Looks like the ride might have just gone down again. But fingers crossed it goes back up. First your direction in line or seek out the nearest resistance personnel for any assistance. We do apologize once again and thank you for your patience and cooperation. Darn, my luck just turned around. Another change of plan. So the ride broke down when we were in line for Rise of the Resistance. So now um, it's almost looking like I may not be able to get on Runaway Railway, even with my boarding queue, but we'll see. But I'm going to purchase a lightning lane for that just in case, because I really want to make sure I do it before I go. My lightning lane um, redemption will be through from 3.55 p.m. until I think 4.55 p.m. I'm so excited. I can't wait to do this new ride. Finally. Hopefully Rise of the Resistance will be back up and running later. I'd love to be able to go on that today if possible, but thankfully I've been on the ride before. So I got really hungry again, and before I walk over to Mickey's Toontown to do Runaway Railway, I decided to get a Ronto wrap at the Ronto Roasters. It's one of my favorite treats at the park. So now I'm walking over to the partially redone Mickey's Toontown to do Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm very excited to do this new ride. It's my first time on it. I haven't done the one at Hollywood Studios yet. So now we're headed from Frontierland into Fantasyland. And Fantasy and you have to go through Fantasyland to get to Toontown. Oi. <laughs> Wow, Fantasyland looks a lot more crowded than the other lands today. Probably because of that Super Bowl parade that happened earlier. So just to the left of It's a Small World is the entrance to Toontown. I haven't been in Toontown in so long and now I have a real reason to go. Walking into the new Toontown. Well, the partially done new Toontown. A lot of it's still not quite done yet. Wow, well, it's looking good so far. I really love the new fresh coat of paint. The old one was really getting dated and peeling off, so it looks nice and fresh now. They did a great job with this so far. Nothing can stop us now. We're about to get on Runaway Railway. I hear the queue is awesome. I can't wait to see it for myself in person. Look at that beanstalk. So I just got off the new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and it was really fun. Um, it was actually a little more thrilling and jerky than I thought. I thought it would be a smoother ride, but I actually was worried about dropping my phone at one point. Um, I love the fact that you're not wearing a headset or any glasses. Um, and I do think the projections in the scenes are done, uh, like the projection mapping and all the practical sets are done super well. However, the theming isn't quite as detailed or insane as Mario Kart in my opinion. Um, but they're two very different rides, and this ride is really cool. Um, overall, Disney did such a good job on this. This is such a great addition to Disneyland. And Toontown is already so much better because of this ride. So hats off to Disney on this one. So now for a little tour of the new Toontown. <laughs> Even though only Runaway Railway is open. <laughs> Here's a look at some of the construction still going on.
Let's see what the team's on sign. I like how this road is redone. It actually looks like a real road now. This land really already seems to have a more like have more of a sense of place. So there used to be a fountain over here, and now it's this artificial turf. It honestly looks very pretty, and there are more trees now too. I think that's a good change. But how in the world is Roger Rabbit not open right now? You can walk up there, but you can't go on the ride. That's so weird. Since I'm now here after doing Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I'm gonna go ahead and do It's a Small World for the first time in like 20 years since I was a kid. It's only a 10 minute wait, so I might as well go on. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the Matterhorn bobsleds because they have a single rider line still. It's too bad Rise of the Resistance still hasn't reopened yet. I really want to do that today if I can. Oh gosh darn it, now the Matterhorn's closed too. So many breakdowns today. Well, now that the Matterhorn's closed, I'm going to go over to Space Mountain and see if they have a single rider line. It's currently an 85 minute standby wait. However, if the line dwindles later, I'll go on. Now we're heading into Tomorrowland. My least favorite land in the park personally, but I do love Space Mountain. Will this be where the future Avatar attraction is going? Time will tell. We'll hear more details about Avatar very soon. Now to see if um, single rider's still being offered on Space Mountain. I couldn't really tell. It didn't really look like it, but I'm gonna ask. So I think I'm just gonna try Space Mountain again later tonight when the line's a lot better. Fingers crossed. Unfortunately, I heard that they stopped doing single rider line on Space Mountain um, for a year now, which I didn't even realize. So some good news. The Matterhorn has reopened. So I probably will be able to go on after all. Currently there's a 50 minute standby wait, but they do have a single rider line, so I'll be able to get on more easily and quicker. I'm excited.